Hey, conquering Mega Eagle! Sometimes in a man's life, he needs to clamp two things together good and hard, and then there's no substitute for a, uh, you know, a nice big cast iron or forged steel uh, clamp with a proper, proper acme thread, you know? Like, that's what you need. On other occasions, however, you just need lots and lots of clamps, um, and uh, perhaps the clamping force isn't quite so important. Uh, and sometimes even the weight of a cast iron or forged steel uh, clamp is a detriment, you know? If you're just doing little stuff, you don't want all that weight there. So, I was very happy to find these British-made plastic G-clamps on eBay. I'll leave a link in the description below because most people are selling uh, one, two, three, that as a set for seven quid. But I found a seller that was selling all these six for seven quid. So two threes, two twos, and two one inch. Uh, but he's also selling them individually. So I've got a whole box full of uh, two inch as well, which is like, you know, the most useful size for me. Um, if you're gonna buy them, the three inch is absolutely rubbish. They put a nice big web there and is a tremendous amount of strength going that way but it's got no torsional rigidity it could have done with a, a little bit of extra meat around that um, around the nutted section um, as it is there's a tendency for the for the um, you know there's, there's nothing to resist play that way which is a real shame because it's it's all all the plays coming from from right there um, the one inch there's none of that with a one inch but uh, it's not actually an inch when you open it up all the way it's about um, three quarters of an inch but that is a sturdy little clamp and the two inch, um, yes, that's a good size. Uh, there, is a, there is a bit of wibble wobble on it, but uh, not an awful lot. Um, you know, I always see these things in model maker shops. I do go into model maker shops. Um, I don't do any model making, but they're quite handy for little little bits of piano wire and stuff. Um, I always, it's always good to know where they are. Uh, hideously expensive perhaps, but um, yeah, you, you quite often see these things. Uh, I don't know if they're available overseas, um, but I thought this would be of interest to those of you in the UK. Like I said, this guy on eBay is selling them half the price of everyone else, which means um, oh, I got a box of 10, 10 of these little ones for uh, 16 quid, I think, and then, and then paid another 7 quid for those. Um, they are glass filled nylon. Um, the body is. I think. I think the handle is as well. Um, but maybe it's a bit too shiny. I don't know. Um, it's just these just use a the one inch and two inch. Just use a an M6 bolt. You can see the head of it there, and um, and the the jaw itself spins with the bolt, which which might put some people off, but. When you when you look at the, um, the cheap cast iron equivalent of these, like this, um, I can get these things to bend and break quite easily when I misuse them. Uh, and and what most of the time with these ones, the uh, the clamp the clamp jaw because it's because it's a cup, yeah. The first time you put any real pressure on it the uh, cup tries to flatten out and then it grips the shaft and it no longer spins as is the case with this one oh, I can just about get a spin but these these really mark wood quite badly whereas, whereas these ones um, as long as you're only applying moderate force um, they won't clamp the wood I'm very very happy because I you know quite often I just want a lot of clamps and I'm not bothered about how tight they go so word to the wise if you think you need something like this, um, check that link out below and you'll be able to get yourself um, a bargain. Don't know how long he's going to be around for. Um, maybe he works at the factory and he's just robbing these, which is why they're so cheap. Um, in which case he probably won't be around for too long. Um, so, so get in there quickly. Don't handle stolen goods and uh, get yourself a bargain. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.